See, it's been a wild, fun process how we got to um, get into Ardent Studios and you know it was we, we tracked everything we recorded everything at Ardent Studios in Midtown which has tons of history you know from just enormously successful you know musicians through the years really all the pieces fell together uh, with Aaron as an engineer producer guy and um, Pat Skulls having a hook up with Ardent Studios and things kind of fell together where uh, we wanted to be able to document and package together uh, really the music that we've been making for years. Probably the biggest difference in something like this and maybe a, a mainstream, you know, Christian worship album that's going to be on K-Love is um, I really labored to pick out songs that had real depth. Uh, most of the songs on the album are actually old hymns uh, that I've rearranged through the years, and so there's there's just a depth to the songs um, that you know doesn't repeat the same uh, cliche catchphrase you know for 17 verses and, and four bridges. So there's 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 meat in the songs. There's real theological depth, and yet it's not disconnected and cold uh, and heady. So there's 12 tracks on the album, and um, kind of the way that I, I narrowed them down just from the dozens of songs that we do is I wanted to pick those that were us, you know, that communicated, you know, this is, is Grace of Ann. And, and really there was a personal aspect to just um, songs that were kind of near and dear to me through the years that I had kind of an, an attachment to doing. Uh, it's going to be available on the 22nd of September, Sunday, we'll kind of release it and, and it's really free for anyone at Grace, uh, a physical copy. And then it's blasted out all over the internet, it'll be on iTunes and Spotify, Noise Trade and uh, free, FreeGraceMusic.com and um, so it'll be, it'll be out there, um, you know, different, different avenues for people to, to get a hold of it. My favorite song, it's a, it's a tie between two, but probably my favorite song in the album is, um, is, is Joy to the World. And I love it because when you first think about Joy to the World, you are thinking that's what we sing at Christmas. And uh, Isaac Watts obviously wrote the tune. And uh, what most people don't know is he wrote that song not for Christ's uh, first coming, uh, but his second coming. And so when you, when you view it through that lens, uh, in that context, it changes the entire dynamic of the song and it really, it really blows it up and, and makes it so much more just grand. I mean, the last verse of, you know, he's come to, to make his blessings flow as far as the curse is found. Sin is done, it's dealt with, and um, wherever it reigns in your life and in the world, um, you know, he's replacing that with, with him and his righteousness and his blessing. He comes.